a play will be Michael, then Benny, then David. Okay? All right. Perfecto. This is the 2.30 starting time. First to play, Michael Rogers. Oh yeah, my amigos. Welcome back to our channel, kids. All right, so uh, the day before Saturday, May 27th, I was four over, 76. Bu 180 yard par four. Okay, just uh, put it to the left hand side just a little bit, a little fader and uh, ended up right in the middle. Nice shot. Pin was right in the front. I had maybe 84 yards in. This is my 56 degree wedge. Uh, I hit it on the pin, but these pins are a little bit difficult. They're, I mean, uh, the greens are a little bit hard, so it rolled to the back. Uh, actually, this is kind of in the middle. And then I had this left to righter. Didn't want to start off blasting it back the hole, past the hole. And I don't know why I just came up so short, man. That's the apprehensiveness right there. That's just lack of focus and thinking that it meant more than what it did. And it didn't. It's just an easy, you know, I don't know. Okay, so I left that way short. What a boneheaded move that was. And then I still have about eight feet downhill. So not only did I hit it bad, I put it in a terrible spot. And then again, I'm just so afraid of it that I didn't even get it there. That's bad. Wow. Jesus. Okay, so that's a bogey, my friends. Looks terrible on camera. Hole number two, it was playing 200 yards. Uh, I went with my six iron. The day before I had gone way long with my five iron. I just hit a, a low burner. And today I went with my six iron, hit the same burner and it still went all the way to the back. But this is not too tough, okay? So that's a, maybe about 45 footer right there, 42 footer. All right, and that was for birdie. Uh, I went past the hole on the high side, so that was nice. Okay, and I just have to get up and down. I don't want to start off two over. Wow, that would be terrible. Let's go, buddy. All right, just got it. Just snuck it in. Okay, let's go to the third hole. Hold three, 389 yards. I'm just trying to put it in the middle. I fade it off a tree in the background. Sorry, that angle's a little weird, but I mean, it's three days of shooting in the same course, so I want to vary it up. All right, so I hit that right in the middle. Uh, this tree is just above me, so I'm gonna keep it below the tree. Okay, and I'm using my 56 degree wedge right there for maybe about 86 yards. Hit a good shot, okay, hit it on the pin, and then it rolled out to this spot, maybe about seven feet for birdie. Just low side, yeah, that's, that's bad. Yeah, that's not good. I mean, that should have been back of the cup. It turned a little bit from left to right, but yeah, missed opportunity, my friends. That's a par, all right? Okay, so you see that uh, tower right there. I'm aiming right at that and I'm trying to fade it off of it. Uh, there's a ton of space to the left because the uh, 18th fairway's on that side, so I hit it, I actually hit it right through that tower. I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I wanted to go left. Uh, I wanted to be right at the tower and then fade it off of it, but that ended up going right through the heart of the tower and then it put, put me in this tough spot right here. Tree is blocked out, I got 156 yards to go. And I used my seven iron, just punched it. I was just trying to roll it up there, keep it really low, out of the trouble. 
and unfortunately I had to aim right at the lip of this bunker and it ended up going in. I thought I was going to fade off of it. And if you saw what I just did, I always simulate the same bunker shot on the outside of the bunker. That's a sweet little tip for you guys, just to gauge distance uh, to see where you're going to stop the club. All right, so I'm sizing it up. Confirming the club. Nice job. Good fundamentals there. And here we go. Okay. Leaning a little bit forward. I don't like that. And so I think that's what drove the ball that way as much as it did. And now this is uh, for par. We've got about 14 feet, maybe 16 feet for par. This is just right hand side of the uh, cup. All right, bingo, bingo. That's a good putt right there. Big putt on uh, a tough hole. Uh, I've been getting up and down on this hole now two days in a row, so I'm kind of pushing it. I've been in bunkers both times. Let's keep going. Okay, here we go. This is hole five. 147, I went with nine, my nine iron. I just wanted to avoid the bunkers up there. Uh, hit a terrible shot. I mean, I, I came up significantly short. And then that was brutal also. That was not good. That should have been way past the cup. Probably about six feet past the cup would have been perfect on the high side. Let it trickle into the cup. Beautiful, bingo bango. Unfortunately, that was a terrible execution. So I got this long putt, right? Way above the cup, which is good. I, I anticipate it would turn. It didn't turn. Uh, I'm on the pro side. Unfortunately, I'm not in the cup, so there's no stats for pro side or amateur side. Blap, blap. Okay, and this is for a four. A little tricky downhiller, maybe about a foot and a half, two feet. All right, nice and easy. Okay, let's go to the next hole. All right, now we've got uh, hole number six is 546 yards, which is beautiful, and it plays to my fade. So I'm just trying to aim to the left-hand side. All right. Hit a pretty good shot there. It uh, faded a little bit more than I wanted and then it left me with this uphill. This ball's above my feet, three wood. I had 263 in approximately. Hit a really nice fade. Just got it to trickle in front of the green. Uh, pin was in, in the middle of the green and I rolled it up to about nine feet for eagle. Let's see if I can drain this. This would be big. Bueno, low side. Man, my priorities are way out of order. I mean, an eagle? Yeah, you gotta be on the high side, kid. You gotta go back of the cup, kid. You gotta do better than that, kid. That's a nine footer, maybe eight footer. I'm maybe, maybe making it more difficult than it was. That was easy. Jesus, what a blunder. But I'll take a tap in birdie any day. I guess I'm not, I shouldn't be complaining. All right, back to one over. Here we go. Hole number seven 363 yards okay I'm trying to hit a big fade and uh, I came up short oh sorry I'm in line with the bunker so this is a good shot and I probably had about uh, 147 in I went with the wrong club I went with the nine iron I did the same thing the day before and came up a little bit short and that's okay because this hole uh, was in the front. So now I've got maybe about 24 feet right here. Okay, bop that a little bit. That was a little bit stabby. Wasn't very comfortable with that. That did not look good at all. Uh, and I left it to about two and a half feet right there. This should be a pretty easy par. Okay, just aim back of the cup pretty much. Back of the throat. Okay, nice and easy. All right, that's a good par. One over, all right? 
two bogeys, one bird. Hole number eight to par three, 178 yards. Okay, went with my seven iron and I crushed it. I hit it way past the cup. Uh, I hit it on the low side, but because these greens are so dry, they make them difficult for this tournament. And that left me with the downhiller left to right from our uh, right to left from our perspective. Uh, I would say about 16 to 18 feet. Let's see how I can execute. Ooh, that peered into the hole. That was a good putt. That's a downhiller, right to left, a little bit slippery. And uh, to have a nice little tap in, I'm, I'm happy with this. All right, this is for Paul. Good, good, good. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Still one over, one over on this side, all right? I was four over the day before. It's important to be six or less because I believe that's what the cut was going to be. Um, here we go. 545 yards, par five. It's nice to end on a par five. Here we go. So I bled that to the right-hand side. This is an okay spot for me. Okay, and then I'm just using my five iron right here. I'm just trying to punch it right down the middle. I probably had about 270 in right there, 265 in. So I'm just trying to hit it right down the middle, uh, giving myself a nice opportunity. Fade it, ideally to the right-hand side so I can uh, get to the mouth of the par five, the green, and I did. This is a good shot right here. Left me with uh, 86 in. I used my 56 degree wedge. And I'm just trying to put this all over the pin. Okay, and that's a good shot. Nice and easy. Yeah, put it right on it. Um, I don't have any spin, so it maybe um, rolls up a little bit or a little bit of rollout. And that leaves me with a 12 footer, maybe 14 footer for birdie. Bingo, bango. That's nice. All right. So I was even on this side. Let's maintain, my amigos. So I bled that to the right-hand side. This is a par four. That was my nine iron for 140 yards. It didn't fade on me because I think the grass was a little bit thick right there. So it did not fade, uh, but I hit a pretty good shot. And then I have this coming back up, right? Okay, take a good look. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good. There's a mound there you, you don't see there's a two levels this is a two-tiered green i wanted to stay on the higher side you can see right there on the right hand side where benny is benny's the guy in the orange shirt cool dude um you can see there's a tiered green right there and i didn't want to go onto the bottom side of the tier and then have to putt upwards so that's why i went very conservative that's for par and i never got it there Okay, so I go back to one over on hole number 10. All right, let's keep going, my amigos. Here we go. This is hole 11. It was playing 130 yards on this day. I went with my pitching wedge, so I went with the right club, but the wind was a little bit behind me. There I am lining up my putt. That's where I think the line is going to be, right? So I'm kind of like tracing a line back to my ball, okay? I used my pitching wedge the day before I had come up a little bit short, so I figured I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine with my pitching wedge. I ended up hitting it uh, on the collar and then it jumped all the way up to this spot right here. So now this makes for a really tricky second putt going down. Okay, and I clobbered that and then the gravity just took it and it just went 
all the way down, almost back to the T box, right? And now I have this coming back up, probably about 32 feet, 34 feet coming back up, right? And I left that short, so that leaves me in a tough, tough position. And here we are, maybe a six, seven footer for bogey. Nice, okay, back of the cup. Wow, huge sigh of relief. I, uh, I ended up going back to back bogeys, but luckily I, I didn't uh, double that. So here we go, this is hole 12, 364 yards. This is pretty easy. I went with my three wood, hit a really soft shot, just trying to put it in the middle of the fairway. Okay, I missed the fairway, and then that left me with uh, my eight iron right here. I had 158 yards to the pin. I just went for the middle of the green right there. I'm not doing trying to do anything special, just trying to go for the middle of the green. Hit a good shot. It hit off the hill that's behind me right there where you can see the shadows. Okay, and then now I have, this is gonna be from right to left from our perspective. Oh, that's the line right there. That would have been a great putt had it drained it. But alas, I did not. So that's an easy par. All right, let's keep going, my amigos. This is hole number 13. It's 437 yards. I'm just trying to put it in the middle. Okay, uh, so I hit it just to the left-hand side because there's some big trees there. I missed them and then put myself over to the right-hand side. A pretty good shot. And then I just punched because I had 164 in right there. And I just punched a nice, easy eight iron. It ended up going a little bit longer than I anticipated and it went all the way to the back of the green. Went super long, but this is not too tough of a play right here. I've done this tons of times. I end up putting off the green, which is one of my favorite things to do. And then this is an easy four footer right here, just middle of the cup. I pulled it a little bit, but luckily it caught the edge and that's a par. Oh yeah! Two over, my friends. Here we go. This is hole 14. Nice shot right in the middle. Okay, and then this is probably my favorite shot of the entire day. I had 238 in right here. I used my five wood. Wind is behind me, and I just hit a beauty of a shot, my friends. I went right at that tree on the left-hand side, and I went after it. This Ended up putting it just short of the green, but just a dandy of a shot. Definitely the best shot I had all day. Uh, especially because this is a par five and I was really trying to attack it. All right, and so this is for Eagle right here. Okay, maybe about 22 feet. Left it on the high side. It didn't come back all the way, but that's an easy tap in birdie, which is great to take me back to one over. All right, and by now I'm starting to think about the cut because I was four over the day before, I'm one over today. So I really have to maintain this right here. Here we go, my friends. I'm one over. This is a par five. And by the way, right now an official came up to us and he told us that the group ahead of us was extremely slow and that he had warned them to hurry up. So they started running because they were uh, in danger of getting penalized. And so he also said, you guys have to keep up with them because if there's too large of a gap, you'll get penalized also. So now everybody started scrambling and we weren't taking hardly any time to look at our shots. We just started playing quickly. So I hit it in this bunker, all right? And then I hit my 54 degree wedge out of there. Sorry, my 56 degree wedge out of there. I hit it on the low side. And then I put it upwards and missed my par opportunity. All right, so there's a bogey. That's no bueno. So now I'm at two over, okay? Let's keep going, two over. So I was four over the day before, two over today. This is a par five, pretty easy par five. Okay, it was playing 522 yards. From back here, I hit a, a shot right in the middle, and then this is my three wood. You can see I'm lining up way left, way left, because there's a bunker that protects it on the right-hand side, the green. So I was trying to fade that, and I ended up hitting it so bad that it faded too much. 
And then I put it in exactly the spot that I was trying to avoid, my amigos. So now I have this touchy little shot. There's tons of leaves right here. Balls slightly above my feet. Lie as shit. Okay, and I'm using my 60 degree wedge. And sure enough, I just didn't want to go after it because it's a touchy shot above my feet. And I ended up coming up a little bit short and putting it in a really bad spot. You can see it's right there, right on the edge of the bunker. So I have to get up and down right here because it, this is crucial. Okay, so I chose to putt. Ball is slightly above my feet, probably about six inches. All right, so I shorten my club and I'm just trying to get this to roll out. And that's pretty good, my friends. That's pretty good. I got it past the pin. I gave it a shot for a birdie, okay? And then uh, put it to about three feet for a par. All I have to do is drain this. Perfect, all right. Good, good, good. Okay, so walking up to the tee box, I checked my phone because there was live scoring on this day at the Riverside um, City M. So what I did is I checked my score. The cut was at seven, I'm at six. So I went uh, driver there, hit it right in the middle, just a beauty of a shot. Okay, and then um, I had 70 in right there, 70, and I went with my 60 degree wedge, which typically goes about 60, 65 yards, and I just went after it, and I put it on it. Pretty good shot. This is about seven feet for birdie. Oh, had I drained that, that would have given me that extra little cushion that I needed. But it's okay, I'm gonna par this, everything is fine, and I know that hole 18 is really easy. It's a birdie hole, almost eagle. So that's easy. All right, I'm six over for two days. I have to maintain right here because the cut is at seven. Let's go, par five, 469 yards. Okay, so I hit a good shot, only that it bled too much and then put me in this bunker. But this is not too tough. I just go with my eight iron because it's got a lofted face on it. And all I have to do is just put it in the middle. This is not a hero shot, right? So this is soft. You can see how soft that is. Nice and easy. No big deal. All right. I put it in the middle. And then right here, I had my 50 degree wedge. This green is vertical, so it's really thin. All right. So I grabbed my 50 degree wedge, which is clubbing up. And then I'm just trying to go really soft because this could go 10 yards long. So I just went soft and I went too soft. You can see how I blocked that off. And I ended up hitting a terrible shot. Wow, that was so bad. And uh, as you guys noticed, I loaded a video uh, yesterday that showed these guys, uh, the officials for the NCGA tournament gave me um, a drop, which was great because I really needed it. That uh, sprinkler was in my way. I knew that I had one stroke to play with. So I knew that I could kind of be sloppy here. I mean, I don't want a bogey, right? I don't want a bogey, but um, I'm trying to play so safe. Clearly, I'm not trying to go birdie because there's really no need. I'm just trying to make the cut. So here we go. I got a free relief from that sprinkler. This is gonna be above, and then it's gonna go to the left-hand side, I think. And it didn't. I bopped that a little bit harder than I needed to. It went right by the pin. Okay, give, gave it a good shot. And now this is maybe a five footer for par. And I knew the cut line was at seven. So I'm, I just, I was kind of lackadaisical about that. Didn't hit a very good putt to the back of the cup because I knew I had a stroke to play with and ended up bogeying it. So I'm at seven over, right? I was uh, 76 the day before, 75 today. Not bad, I held on. It was a little bit sloppy coming in, but that's it, my amigos. Oh yeah! I ended up making the cut right on the line. And I'm okay with that. You know, I think with a little bit more experience as we go along, I'm signing up for more city amateur tournaments in different cities. Um, I'm really beginning to 
uh, drill myself and discipline myself for better stamina going into tournaments so that I don't blow up on the third day, which is historically, historically what I've been doing a lot, is I just blow up on the third day, which is not good. Um, that's it, my friends. Here we are tallying up. 76 the day before, 75 today. That's seven over. That makes the cut. Stay tuned. I got more content coming up. Let me know if you guys want me to start the series on uh, the LA City Amateur, editing it and uploading it, or if you prefer to just see the final day, the Monday uh, following day after this tournament. Let me know down below. Thanks so much for tuning in. That's it, my amigos. Oh, yeah.